If I had to name my very favorite instrument, it would be the human voice. I think it's the most beautiful instrument. To see a professor who is uh, extremely talented himself working with the student and taking what may be at some point almost like a, a diamond in the rough <laughs> and shaping it into something that is just extraordinary. I was actually sitting in an airport when I got the phone call from my doctor saying that I'd been uh, diagnosed with breast cancer. I was six months into the position of being president of the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, which was just an incredible thrill for me to be there. And so I thought, well, okay, I can do that, but not now. Uh, maybe you could come back, I don't know, in five years from now with this news that I have breast cancer and I'll deal with it then, but not now. I was a bit upset. I was at an event where it was about celebrating others, celebrating students in particular who were graduating. I was sitting next to the chancellor of the university, who's uh, the uh, Olympic champion, Nancy Green. And after, well, I guess we had a glass of wine or two, we started talking about all sorts of things. And uh, I felt terrible because I, I felt like I joined a team as a member of the team, a leader in the team, and here I was unable to perform and feeling really bad about that. And she said to me, and that was really uh, something that helped me, there's always one of us who cannot perform uh, because of an injury. But uh, we know that, we know the person will get better, we rally around them. And if you're part of a good team, the others will perform for you. They'll do the things that they need to do to make sure that the team remains strong. So she said, uh, you should trust the people you work with. They'll pull um, for you and they'll pull around you. And in fact, it will be a, a great team building exercise for you. So that set me in the, the right path, I think. It's particularly special for me um, to thank those people here because when you're at the beginning of the journey, you think, well, um, certainly at that time, I thought if I can only do uh, my job that I was doing at the time at Ansarc, I'll just be content. I just want that. Uh, the thought of being able to come back to McGill as principal at the beginning of the journey was not at all in my mind. And of course, I recovered my health fully. And now I have uh, a very full life here as a principal of McGill. That's a gift to me that was uh, given uh, from the research that's been done, the people who invest in research, and uh, the gift of not only uh, still being here, but in full health and energy, and being able to do things that I love with passion. So